what is up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the video in this video we're going to be doing a chicken popeye pop-up casserole this is going to be episode one of a series that we're going to do of easy meals for you and your family to actually enjoy and you're also going to get pro tips as far as what i would do different at the end of the video me and my wife sat down and actually discussed it what would actually make this casserole just a little bit better so be sure that you watch the whole entire video so you could get pro tips and see which one which way that you think is absolutely better don't forget down below as well you can go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed smash the thumbs up button don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can see all my latest videos with that being said if you guys are ready to dive in and get this cast roll started as always i am going to be that guy to do it for you let's get it <laughs> All right, so your ingredients are going to be two cans of cream of chicken soup, sour cream, a little nonstick spray, some garlic, chicken breast, sharp cheddar, or whatever kind of cheese you prefer. Two cans is optional of grain biscuits. I would prefer one. And then also a couple cans of your mixed vegetables. We're going to go ahead right to the air fryer. I'm going to do my chicken breast. You don't need to do chicken breast. You can do a rotisserie. It makes your prep time quicker. Your prep time is going to be 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what you're doing. But go ahead and bang some nonstick spray. Spray that sucker on your air fryer. Then go ahead and throw your chicken breast in. I'm going to go ahead and hit them about 370 degrees. It's not going to take 18 minutes, by the way. It's only going to take approximately about 13 minutes for small chicken breast. I'm going to do three probably only need about two and a half because we need three cups of chicken before i put my chicken breast in as always as in every single video trim off the fat the best you can you don't have to hit every single bit of it but just trim off the fat the best you can we're going to get about three chicken breasts and then we're going to throw them right up into the air fryer Now that the air fryer has been preheated for about four minutes, she's ready to rock and roll. Go ahead and season your chicken, salt, pepper, whatever you prefer. If you opted out of not getting a rotisserie, this is probably by far the best way to go. Or you can go ahead and grill it. Totally up to you. We're going to do about six minutes on each side. And then she should be done be 165 degrees. Do not forget that is when your chicken breast will be completed. Now that we went ahead, we strained out our vegetables. What you're going to do is find you a nice pretty mixer bowl and you're going to dump it right into the bowl. Your next step is take both of your cans of cream of chicken and you're going to go ahead and throw that right into the bowl. On to the sour cream, you're just going to use two cups. Place it right into the bowl. That is quite a pretty picture there. Gonna go ahead and use your garlic powder. Just sprinkle it to taste. That is optional, you don't have to use it. Then you're gonna go ahead and hit some salt and pepper. Just a little bit, that's also optional as well. And then sharp cheddar what makes this casserole you could use any kind of shredded cheese you want finally shredded cheese probably would work best but any cheese you want take a handful throw it into the bowl go ahead and hit your pan with some non-stick cooking spray then we're going to go ahead and get our biscuits ready to rock and roll now i'm going to call this an optional thing to do i'm going to put my six biscuits right into the bottom of the pan i'm going to go ahead and flatten them so they can actually cook a little bit better a little bit more evenly but you do not have to do this step stick around pro tips at the end of the video you got your chicken breasts we got them all done pulled them out of the air fryer next thing up slice and dice we're going to slice them then we're going to cube them and then all we're going to do is pull them apart we're looking for about three cups
while our oven is getting preheated to 375 we're going to go ahead take out five biscuits on this step this once again is going to be optional end of the video pro tips go ahead and cut these into four pieces four pieces per biscuit and then you're going to put all five biscuits into the batter you're going to mix it up and that is going to finalize your batter she will be ready to go into the pan Now that it's all mixed, you're gonna evenly distribute this across the pan. Make sure it's nice and even so everything cooks evenly. But remember, if you decided to put the biscuits into the batter and mix the batter, just because the top, when you take it out, looks done, the cheese looks melted, it looks a little crispy up top, be sure to check the middle of your batter. Check the middle of the batter for your biscuits to be sure that they are completely done. If you do not do this step, then you will end up a little bit of a doughy mess. And your grand finale for this bad boy. You're just gonna add a nice little light dusting of shredded cheese right on top of your casserole. And then when you take this beauty out, I'm not going to lie to you. When it is completely done, this recipe, this casserole is slamming. She sure is pretty. The final note of the day, 15 total minutes is what it took me to prep this casserole up and also one hour in the oven. That is going to be my bake time. Well guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But like I said at the beginning of the video, we're gonna go ahead with some pro tips to make this casserole just a little bit better so you and your family can enjoy a little bit better. Pro tip number one, we're gonna go ahead and say, you do not need to use chicken breast. You do not need to cook the chicken breast. If you wanna make your prep time even faster, even easier, go ahead and buy the rotisserie. Just peel it off, put it all in the bowl. Go ahead and mix all your stuff together. Boom, you're done. That's gonna be number one. Pro tip number two, with the biscuits. This is a little bit of the issue that I think that I will do away with, and that's gonna be your biscuits on the bottom. If you actually wanted to do the biscuits on the bottom, I would go ahead and bake them just a little bit to get a little crust going on and then layer your two biscuits on the bottom of the pan put your mix in and then go ahead and bake it i would bake it for about 20 25 minutes depending on your oven of course and then with your four your squares that you actually cut your biscuits into i would then take it out and then go ahead and put load it up just load up the whole top with it throw your cheese on there throw it back in the oven watch it monitor it it should be about another 20 minutes all that should be done. Tip number three is I do not believe, again, I will mix the biscuits with the batter because you're gonna have a problem. You're gonna have to keep checking it. You're gonna have to put it back in. We did it twice during this video, but because of the biscuits not actually being cooked already, they're actually gonna be a little bit doughy. That's gonna be our pro tips. That is what I think that you guys should actually do to make this recipe just a little bit better you can also go ahead down in the description box i've got everything laid out as far as your ingredients as far as what i would do and how i would actually do this casserole if i was going to go ahead and give it another chance but all in all this is number one it's easy it feeds you and your family for under 17 dollars. easy for two nights you can't beat it don't forget down below subscribe to the channel smash the thumbs up button hit that bell icon so you can see all my latest videos and with that being said I'm going to get out of here. See you.